Page 66, number 1a, the problem is asking for us to compute the first four coefficients of the Maclaurin series for this function f of x. So the first thing is to d discuss what the Maclaurin series is. This name is a special case of the Taylor polynomials. So all the Maclaurin series is is the Taylor polynomial with c equals zero. Okay, so this is the, the, the point that we're going to plug in is uh, c equals zero. Okay, that's the first thing. Um, so <clears throat> normally when you're asked to find a Taylor polynomial, you're going to start taking derivatives and then plug in the particular value, c equals zero in this case. And you can go ahead and try that, um, but really all they, all they want are the first four coefficients. So um, that's going to be uh, all the way to the second derivative. This is the constant, uh, first derivative, uh, the second derivative, the third derivative, excuse me, third derivative. Um, <coughs> but it looks like it's going to be a little, bit, uh, a, lot, a little bit messy because you're going to have to use the quotient rule and it's a lot of derivatives. So maybe we'll look for another solution. So what I'm going to first do is rewrite f of x as the product of these two functions. And then I'm going to <clears throat> write the expansion for this uh, right here and the expansion for this right there. And then I'm going to multiply and I'll just find out what the first four terms are, and that's all I need. So let's go over here and, and look at um, <clears throat> these two separately. So uh, e to the 2x, I can obtain e to the 2x by putting 2x in place of x. So if I had a 2x here, I need to have a 2x there. So this is the summation of 2x to the n over n factorial. And if I just write out the first few of these terms in here, the first term is when n equals 0, so I get uh, 2x to the 0 over 0 factorial, that's just a 1. And then the next term that I get when n equals 1, I get 2x over 1. And then the third term uh, that I get is 2x uh, to the third, so that's um, our squared, so 4x squared over 2 factorial. And then uh, One more term. Let's put one more term in. When n equals 3, I get uh, 8x cubed over uh, 3 factorial, which is 6. Okay? So that's. <coughs> and it keeps going. Okay? Now, let's write in. Uh, let's go see if we can work out 1 over 16 plus x squared. Okay, I want to use this expansion here. 1 over 1 minus x, this is a geometric series. This is equal to that expansion for x less than 1. Uh, so right now, 1 over 16 plus x squared differs from this equation in a couple of ways. First of all, this one has a 1 there, so I'm going to want to have a 1 here. So let's work on that one. So 1 over 1 over 16 plus x squared. I'm going to rewrite that with a 1 out in front, so let's factor the 16 out. 1 over 1 plus x squared over 16. And then I need to have a minus, so I'm going to rewrite that one more time 
as this is 1 over 16, excuse me. Uh, I'm going to rewrite this as <coughs> 1 over 16 times 1 over 1 minus negative x squared over 16. So according to this, I'll rewrite it right here. According to this, I'm going to have a 1 over 16 out front. And I'm going to go from n equals 0 to infinity. I'm going to put in negative x squared over 16 in place of x here. to the 4n, and I also have another 16, which is another 2 to the 4th. So this is 2 to the 4n plus 4. And n equals 0. Okay, now let's write out the first few terms in this parentheses for this series here. When n equals 0, I get 0, or this is 1 here, and I get x to the 0, which is 1, and then I get 2 to the 4th. Uh, 1 over 2 to the 4th, which is 1 over 16. So 1 over 16. Okay, the next term is going to be a negative. When I plug in n equals 1, it's negative. And I get uh, <clears throat> x squared. And on the bottom, I get 2. When n equals 1, I get 2 to the 8th power. Okay, the next term is a plus. The next term, when n equals uh, 2, I get uh, positive uh, x to the 4th, and uh, on the bottom, when n equals 2, I get 2 to the 12th. And it continues on, but I'm going to stop because if you look ahead, this is, <clears throat> what are these coefficients that I'm looking for? These are the terms in front of the um, constant x, x squared, and x cubed. So I really only need to go up to x cubed to find out what these coefficients are. Okay, so let's start. So in order to see this, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply this out. So what is it I get? Um, what's my constant term? The only way to get a constant term is to take the constant times the constant. So I get a 1 over 16 as my first term. I'm going to get a lot of stuff here, but I'm really only interested in the first few terms. Okay, so this here is my C0. I'll write that out again in a minute. Okay, how do I get the x term? I have a 2x, and I multiply by this 1 16th. That gives me 1 8th x. And there's no other way to get an x term. 